This is one of the most underrated visuals in Power BI and how you can trace data. Check this out. All right, so today we're talking about decomposition. So as you can see here, it breaks down by data elements what the total is per that attribute. So from left to right, we have the total amount of employees, which is 10,000. We have the job title breakout, which is five different job title buckets. And then we have the gender breakout as well. You can keep going as much as you want on this. We can also flip the male and female, then broke it out that way even further. But this allows you to see the entire lineage behind a data point. So let me show you how to build it from the ground up. So all we're gonna do is click on decomposition, which is gonna be this one right here. And what we're gonna do is select our gender, which is gonna be one of our attributes and job title as well. And we can actually leave it flipped for this one if we want. And then we're gonna do index, which is gonna be our analyzer, which is gonna be our starting point for our data. And we're just gonna call this employees. And now we can select on the plus sign. We can select on whichever one we want to expand on because we can explain by either one. I'm gonna do job title, or I can remove that and I could do gender now, and then now I could expand on the male job title, and we can see all the males and how many there are for each one, or I can remove it, and I could do the females without. And the same formatting options as always, make it a little bit easier, we're gonna go on general first, we're gonna go background, I'm gonna change the background to this color. This is usually my favorite, visual border, same thing, do seven, I'll keep it as Nexion colors, always. And change the selected line to be a green. We can also change the options to scale to the parent node. So it's actually going to showcase the totals based upon this total and this one as well. So you can see the fill rate that you have for each one. So I kind of like this actually. So I'll leave it like that. We have a positive bar. So I'll make that green. We don't have any negative, but if you did, I would just make that red. Font colors, I usually make them white. Then background, I'll make that blend as well and the last thing i'll show you is how you can lock this as well so you can click on this little lock level and it'll always stay engaged on the gender or the job title or both and then the front end user can't really manipulate it too much but you can also change that too and just allow them the full flexibility to have that option but that said that's how you build out a decomp tree hopefully this video is able to help you out and showcase you the lineage behind the data point but with that said leave any comments down below let me know your thoughts and thanks for watching y'all